Most people that I've talked to at some point in their life, they've had a million dollar app idea. But at the same time, they have no idea how to get started with it, how to make this thing a reality. So what we end up with is all these great app ideas that just stay in people's heads. Well, I wanna show you today how to use ChatGPT to get that idea out of your head and you can build an iPhone app without really knowing what you're doing. And then hopefully some of these apps we can get out and it can get you a passive income stream. Again, I didn't make most of my money from investing. I made my money from building an app that ended up selling for a lot of money. So before we get started, comment question of the day, what is your best app idea? And if you don't build it, maybe I will. Maybe I'll steal it and give you a percentage or something. So first we're gonna come up with an idea for an app. And again, I love ChatGPT. It's gonna type in here, what is a great app idea that ChatGPT can help me build that won't take too long, but has potential to make 1K a month? Because actually, you know, we're looking for million dollar app ideas, but wouldn't you be happy with a 1K a month app idea? I mean, those are the types of income streams. If I can get a 1K a month income stream with just a few hours of work, that's a win for me. So what's a great app idea that ChatGPT can help me build that won't take too long, but has potential to make 1K a month? So even the ideation phase, we're gonna use ChatGPT, we're gonna use AI. So idea number one, subscription-based workout app, freelancer task manager, local event finder, digital planner and journal, recipe sharing and meal planning. These are some, these are some ideas. Christian meditation and prayer app. I think the idea, comment if you, if one of these looks better than the others, but I think what I'm going to build, I think this would be easiest, is a random Bible verse. I did that with my Chrome extension, and I think that would make a good mobile app as well. I want to create a random Bible verse app. I want it to randomly pick a Bible verse and show it to the user every time they open the app. Can you walk me step by step through getting this app created? All right, so here's what ChatGPT came up with. Step one, define the app's features. Okay, so core feature, display random Bible verse. Yes, let's just do the display a random Bible verse each time the app is opened. Let's do React Native. So you don't even need to necessarily know what language. You can just follow their recommendation. And if you have questions, you can ask ChatGPT, what language would you recommend? React Native is good because it's the same code for iOS and Android. So we'll go with that. So let's use React Native and let's use Bible API. So API is just somewhere where you can get data from. So BibleAPI.com. I've actually never heard of that. That's kind of cool though. But I assume it's just an API that you can go get Bible verses from. Very cool. Love that. Let's use the Bible API. So and actually I changed my mind on what language to use. I want to show you using Swift. So just iOS, you'd have to write this differently if you want it for Android, but we're just gonna do an iOS app just cause I wanna show you this in action. But let's use Swift in Xcode and let's use the Bible API. Please walk me step by step through getting this app created. All right, so step one, set up an Xcode project. So Xcode is included on your Mac. If it's not, you can just go to the App Store and search for Xcode, but it's what you use to create iOS apps. So Xcode right here, you download it. We're gonna open Xcode. I have version 15.4 here. Create a new project. We're gonna make an app. We'll call it Random Bible Verse. If you need help getting your Apple developer account set up, I can make a video about that. Just let me know in the comments. So product name, team, organization, identifier. I just put Pelton and I'm doing Swift. Well, we won't need any storage, I believe. And we don't need tests. So next, where do you want to save this? I'm going to make a new app, random Bible verse. We'll put it here. All right. So now you got Xcode. So first I want to just show you how this connects up to your phone. So I'm going to take my phone here and a USB from my computer to my phone. Then it asks if I, if it, if I trust this computer, which I do. So this app right now, all it does out of the, out of the box is it says, hello world. 
So now when you go to where do you want this app to go, what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna make it run on my phone, but right now it says OS version is lower than deployment version. So I actually, my iPhone 14 is not updated to the latest iOS and this app is set for 17.5. So I need it to be set for 16.3 or lower. So I'm just gonna go into the app general and I'm just gonna say iOS, we'll say 16 but I wanna just get it on my phone so you can see how easy it is to kind of test it out. So I'm gonna launch it on Jimmy's iPhone 14. So now I'm gonna click build. It says building 2642. So this is building this app. Again, I haven't made any changes to this app other than I lowered the version that it goes to. And you can see it's installed random Bible verse app on my phone. And then when I open it, it just says, hello world. Okay, which is again, what the app is set to do right now. We actually can even preview it here in Xcode. There you go, that's exactly what it does. So congratulations, you have an iOS app created. It's worthless, all it does is say hello world, but you have it. So then what I like to do is you have two Swift files here. You have the random Bible verse app that just runs content view, and then you have content view.swift. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into ChatGPT. I have content view, and then I just paste the, the code that's in there. Here is random Bible verse app. Can you walk me step by step through getting a random Bible verse from Bible API and showing it to the user. And that's all we're gonna have the app do here at first. So this video isn't hours long. So first create a model for the Bible verse. So create a new Swift file called bibleverse.swift. So I go back in here, file, new, file, Swift file, and Bible verse. Then it gives me the code to put in there. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. Create a view model for fetching data. So create a view model called Bible verse view model. So again, I'm gonna to go to new file and it, you actually could just do a Swift file because we're just gonna copy and paste in here, Bible verse view model. And again, this is a great way, I'm just copying and pasting the code in there. This is a great way to learn how to code too, is you can look through and see, okay, chat GPT told me to do this. Create a function called fetch random verse that goes to this URL. If there's an error, it'll say that. Otherwise, it grabs one and prints it out. So pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now update content view to use the view model. So we created this Bible verse view model. Now we wanna make content view use it. So I'm gonna copy again that code there, go into content view, and I'm gonna paste. So again, it's creating a new Bible verse view model. Then it says loading while it's grabbing the Bible verse. Then it fetches a random Bible verse. Then it puts the verse. All right, then we can run the app. So I'm gonna click run. Build succeeded, that's good. That means there was no errors. Now what I have is loading new verse. Okay, and if you look on Xcode, nothing's happening, it's just saying loading, and I'm getting a JSON error. The data couldn't be read because it is missing which you can see is the this error here. So if you run into problems, I am getting this error. You can just tell ChatGPT, they'll, they'll solve it for you. So they say that we're gonna add some debugging to make sure that this worked. So give some new code, added just a little bit of debugging. I'm gonna save that. So now it's gonna show what format the data comes back in from Bible API. So let's run it again. Build succeeded, that's good, no errors. So the JSON response is not found. So let's just let ChatGPT know that. There's always a little bit of debugging. Things never work exactly how you intend them to. All right, so they kind of looked through the problem and they found that I'm actually going to the wrong URL. So we can actually test this. We can just in our browser, just go here and see if we get a random Bible verse. Nope, get error not found. So that's not the right URL. So let's try this new one. We could actually go look on the Bible API website. There we go. So it gives you book name, chapter, verse, and text. So, and actually ChatGPT figured this out. We needed a different URL, so update the code. So first update bibleverse.swift with all the data that we get from Bible API. Then we'll change the verse view model with the new URL. Then we will update content view to display the verse. And ChatGPT walked me through this. You don't really need to know too much. And then let's go ahead and run it. Build succeeded, so no error. And now, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a Bible verse, Revelation 
1917, I saw one angel standing in the sun. When I click new verse, I get a new verse. Why do the nations rebel? Why are the countries devising plots that will fail? New verse, Hebrews 12, 23. So we now have a working app. So how long did that take? That in real time, that took me about 10 minutes to get this kind of V1 of this app. And then obviously, you know, you can add more features. And uh, let me know in the comments. Comment down below if you want me to turn this into a series where we make this app better and I show you actually getting it on the app store. I show marketing it. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. But we could monetize this. We could make a paid version. We could put on ads, you know, that you're taking away if you pay three bucks a month or something like that. There's a lot of options for something like that. But I mainly wanted to show you that this is something that you could do. You could follow these instructions and get a basic app out in no time. AI is changing the game, okay? It's changing the way things are done. So let me know if this is a series you want me to continue on, what other content you would like to see. Also, I've put together this app passive profit plan. So if you do have an app idea and you don't even want to go through this chat GPT, this I'm going to help people get their apps created. So you have the idea and in this program, the app passive profit plan, I use chat GPT to come up with that name. I'll basically get on a call with you. We'll talk through what you want the app to do, what your goals are, and then I'll build the app for you. You can do it yourself, but like you kind of saw, you know, I needed to know, okay, I don't want to use React. I want to use Swift, and I had to kind of know how to navigate X. I mean, you do need to know a little bit, and you can learn it very easily with ChatGPT, but if you don't feel up to that, hop in this program. We'll build some apps together. We'll kind of split. I'll, I'll do help with the marketing. We'll split the profit. And I think we can create some really cool apps, some really cool revenue streams through this. So appreciate you guys going along on all these journeys with me. You never know where that's going to take us. Please hit like on your way out. Appreciate you guys. God bless. Have a great rest of your day.